morning, everybody. I am pretty much ready for my doctor's appointment. I have to go to this morning. Um, I have to go see the surgeon. The one that did my thyroidectomy and see what he has to say. I may not have to see him again until um, I find out more from the endocrinologist, which I don't see him until. Uh, next month and he'll do a bunch of lab work and find out what the hell's going on but anyway so I'm taking a shower last night right taking a shower and I feel something strange down in my lady parts and I'm like oh, what's going on am I you know, once you have cancer, it's like, I'm not scared, I'm just, I'm just making a statement here. You kind of wonder, okay, am I going to get, do I, am I getting cancer somewhere else? Which is highly possible. And, you know, cancer can come back. Unfortunately, for a lot of people it does. Um, and come, it can come back in the same area it can um, come back in your lungs bones breast yada yada anyway so something felt strange in my lady business so I'm showering and stuff right and uh I'm like, what the hell is going on? Do I have a lump there? So I checked. No, no lump. There was no lump. But things just felt really weird. So I continue showering. I gotta rinse my lady parts. And I'm like, ow! Oh, okay. And what was it? It was a big freaking kidney stone. You guys want to see? I saved it. Don't worry, I washed it off. Plus, it was in a bunch of salt. But, yeah. I'm passing big stones again. So, my fear is that all this um, magnesium and all these supplements that I have to take due to not having a thyroid I'm fearing that it's causing where did I put it I'm fearing it's causing me to produce stones more stones which is not good because I've already got my right kidney is already damaged from the past when I had stones and surgeries and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, I'm passing stones again. Look, let me see if you can see it. See it? You see that stone? Compare it to my finger, see how big it is? Can you see that? It's right there. That's the guilty little booger that made me think I had cancer on my genitalia. So I 
saving it, of course, because they're going to want to um, analyze it. It'll probably come back as having the same shit that my body produces too much of, you know, all the other things. But it might have changed somewhat. But I'm afraid all this magnesium and stuff that my doctors got me on is causing this. So, long story short, I'm going to show it to my primary doctor on the 17th when I see her for other health issues I've been having that I haven't talked about. I will let her know. And, oh, this is just some of the hair that I lose all the time. That's just some of it. There was another bunch twice that size. Look at this. Another bunch twice that size in the shower filter. Um, and I lose that much on a daily basis. Yeah, my hair looks thick and healthy. It's only because it's puffy. It's actually become very thin. Excuse me. Anyway, so I'm probably going to have to be seen by a urologist. And may or may not have to have surgery for kidney stones and uh, I know I look like hell I haven't had much sleep ooh my alarm's gonna go off again I'm already awake anyways the life and times of Alicia Marie and all her medical issues um, all right I hope everybody has a fantastic day and I will let you know what the doctor says in a later video I'm gonna sign off now have a wonderful day be safe smile hydrate Check out my Facebook page, Hell Yeah, I'm American. I also have two other pages on there, actually three. Um, I share those pages on my main page, Hell Yeah, I'm American. I'm also on Instagram. Check out my book, Instead How About You Wait. It's on Amazon, it's on Audible, Barnes & Noble. Um, let's see how today goes.